Hi, this is Artemis, a voice, and I'd like to talk a little bit today um, about the subject of clay. Clay. There is a parable and there is a metaphor in the Bible about God being the potter and we being the clay. But I have some experience with art, hence the name Artemis. And I would like to tell you about how God prepares us as his clay. And it's um, founded on the knowledge that clay in its raw state is highly polluted, it's highly contaminated, it's impure, and it needs to be processed. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happens. And it touches on the subject that God foreknows us and he has predestined us to be conformed to his likeness. Now, I don't want to get into the contentious theology about predestination, but I know that God had spent some time preparing me, and until I was ready, I could not receive the word of truth. I could not attend to his voice. I could not even seek after him. Scripture tells us that he does everything. And we in ourselves can do nothing. Religion often has us becoming very accountable to a system where obedience and performance is everything. And if we, if we depart just a little ways, we fall into serious threats of condemnation and possible damnation. I don't see this as God's way at all. God foresees that we are sinners and that it is a time he destines, a kairos moment, the fullness of time when we are able to respond to his voice. Even uh, C.S. Lewis in the Chronicles of Narnia has a very wonderful story where the children thought that they were determining to go in and into Narnia. But when they meet with Aslan, he says, you thought you had determined to do this in yourself, but if I had not have called you, you would not have come. Just more in a little, in a little while. More to follow. Preparation of the clay, part one. Thanks for your attention. God's blessing.